Yeah, go for it. <coughs> Good morning. We've developed a software that will change your life as a student. Hi, my name's Lee. Hi, I'm Nikita. I'm Ben. I'm Tanya. And I'm Min. And together, we are Interlock. We are bringing you a revolutionary software that will allow you to centralize, personalize, customize, and enhance your academic experience like never before. So let's start this with you. How do you fit into this? Well, we begin with the target buyers, the university for this presentation. It's going to be the University of Surrey because it's familiar. But the primary end users of our software will be you guys, followed by the secondary secondary end users who, we, who will be the lecturers. Target market segmentation analysis. This was a study that we conducted to understand a very wide, diverse range of individuals at university of different disciplines, majors, courses, demographics, some students being local, some students being international like myself. Market research, lots of this was primary, lots of this was secondary, and we found ourselves producing a pains and gains table. So much of this is very familiar between students and lecturers. You get per attendance, per interaction, when you fall asleep in the back of a lecture hall, gains centralization. That's a key element that we're trying to focus on right now. And these are personas that we developed based off these pains and gains. Up here you see four of them. Two of them are undergraduate students, one in final year, one in first year of different majors, then you get postgraduate <coughs> students, you get lecturer, uh, lecturers as well. So oh, that was Andy Atcroft, <laughs> the professor, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> someone, say that. someone made that. Someone made that. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, the in-depth analysis, yeah, we made use of the triangulation perspective. Now this comprises of three parts. You get the customer analysis, internal analysis, and finally the marketplace analysis. So when it comes to the customer analysis, again, very familiar, students and lecturers, and the mutual bit in the middle is how both sides mutually benefit from what we have to offer. Then you have the internal analysis. This is really the university's philosophy, right? So Surrey is about student satisfaction, high academic pedigree, um, self-development, and positive and work environment. And when it comes to the marketplace analysis, from the top, we got up and coming. This talks about trends, right? Very important to identify what the climate of an industry is like, followed by the competitors, which is equally as important. And to us, competitors, we're talking about Moodle. We are talking about Blackboard. These are current existing players in the market. So when you really wrap that up into a nice, simple Venn diagram, this is what you get. The three key things that we have been paying attention to. Convenience, simplicity, and enhanced communication. Take that and focus on what's in the middle, and you get centralized information. That is the definition of our USP. Enhancing academic experience through digital integration. And should a university turn around and say, you know what, we quite, we quite like what you like. Well, if the university pays us for what we do, they will be held responsible for the private and confidential data for data protection reasons. And I'm going to hand things over to Tanya. Thank you. So to get started, this is all about the apps and field of design. So to begin, when the um, university buys the app, the first thing they will see is the university. In this case, it will be University of Surrey, so it will be Interlock Surrey. They'll log in using their university login, so my name as well, as you guys know, you know your login. So. Once, um, this will also be available on iOS um, and Android. So moving on, once you log in, this will be your home page. Um, we have a personalization specifically for the university, and obviously if another university wants to purchase it, we'll customize their theme to that. So these are the eight key features. At the top is options where you can customize that. We've got notification bar and also a um, profile bar. So one thing we all hate is losing our ID card. We've got the beautiful Ben who's just lost it and this is it. So with this, he can actually now go to the library. Also, this benefits the university um, as it saves operation costs and obviously production and obviously it becomes more eco-friendly and ethical due to the fact you don't have to create no more plastic. And maybe Ben can end up in rubrics tonight, so. 
Moving on. Um, so, with a notification bar, um, one thing that we realised through, uh, through our research is the fact that students did not get live updates. So this, what we've integrated is um, every morning you'd get your news feeds and if you're on campus walking around with beacons, um, so let's say you walk past the library, you'll get an update or you get a notification. So for here, bake sale in the library and obviously you get the little red dot to tell you this is the new update. Um, this will come across all of the features within the app. So sorry, Learn, we all have the issue of trying to zoom into your phone, logging in and whatnot. So with this, all we, um, we'll just have sorry, Learn integrated to the app. So that will just be the exact same, just, just on the app. This will be as, as well for sorry, Sits and also the timetable where you, um, let's say, Miss decides to change the lecture room, we'll actually know and we'll get notification as well. So moving on. Um, messenger. So we, uh, we found out that a lot of students are quite scared to talk to their lecturer when... Um, to, when they're in lectures, they're quite afraid to put their hands up and ask questions. So with this, we've um, developed a messenger. So when you're in lecture, let's say we've got to do is select the module we're in and then select the lecture you're in and you join the chat within the presentation. Um, so what you do, so let's say you're on a slide and you don't un actually understand what the lecturer is saying. Um, so you send a question through your phone and it comes up on the <coughs> lecturer's screen. So it will just pop up. Um, it will be anonymous, however the lecturer does see it, so if anyone is being inappropriate, he can block you from participating in further, um, in further lectures. Um, so um, if he is not able to answer all the questions at a time in his personal login, um, he will get the questions saved to his where he can later on send emails um, to the questions that were asked. Uh, moving on, um, the interactive map. Um, one thing that we realise is quite hard to find your way, especially when there's a new room you've not been to. So with this, you can zoom in, select the building, and then from that you can see all the room availability and whatnot. Um, also, through research, we found out we have a lot of disabled students, and with this, we'll have um, a route map of um, easy access for all of them. Now, moving on to Ben with the pricing model. So with the pricing model, the university's budget is between 30 and 40,000 pounds. Now, breaking down that cost, the, with the total production cost. By the way, I, I didn't know that we had got budget. I didn't give a budget. Okay. <laughs> <That's> fine. <laughs> with an estimated budget. Okay. Estimated there we go. <laughs> so, um, so the so how it, breaking that down B to B that is basically uh, the base price at plus the negotiation negotiated amount for customization, but B to C would be free. Um, to get all the features that Daniel was talking about, um, the university will need to have all of these as well. Um, moving on to uh, the communication distribution strategy, our main point of contact would be our website, it's a beautiful thing right here. Now, uh, from our research, 80% of B2B uh, customers do their research online before acquiring a service, and we wanted us to have 24 hour accessibility, professional, and easy to read as well. Now. Then going into our IMC plan, we thought of three major uh, social media streams. Facebook, <coughs> LinkedIn, and Twitter. We have direct marketing, which would include um, mail orders, <coughs> email in campaign done by Salesforce, and then personal selling with one-to-one -one meetings with our clients such as university. Um, and I'll pass over to these and we'll talk about the media plan. So for our media plan, you'll find that it spans across three months because we've taken a quarterly period. And the vehicles, which are kind of gone based on the projector, but um, essentially you've got events, social media, and emails. That's how we're going to get the message across. Events talks about um, all the various expos, technology expos, conferences, exhibitions that take place, which we will physically attend. And it's uh, spanning across well, three months and the blue bars indicate when they take place. Um, for social media, we've chosen LinkedIn as our primary platform because based on a study, uh, it showed that LinkedIn was the best platform for B2B marketing. And therefore, Facebook and Twitter is really there to just supplement it. And finally, the email newsletters will be running all the way through. But it only starts after the first event. And because the email, the email newsletters are going to be our um, medium to follow up with all the individuals and entities that we make contact with. So that is our presentation. Thanks for listening and we'll take your questions.